There is no other way I could afford a set of YSL lipsticks. So when I saw these, I was like, this is my chance. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, welcome to the Lipstick Swatch family. My name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. For those of you who have been with me, I thank you for your continued support. So for today's video, I have another lip set. This one is from Sephora and it is the YSL Yves Saint Laurent Mini Lip Wardrobe. So take a look at the packaging, nice and small. There are three pieces in this set. And to be honest, this is probably the only thing from Yves Saint Laurent that I can afford because you and I both know that these are not cheap. These are just the minis. And I think this was $40, maybe cheaper. I uh, don't quote me on that, but I will look it up and I'll let you guys know how much I paid for it. Um, but I think it was like 40 bucks. Anyways, let's see. So yeah, this is the mini lip wardrobe and I'm just going to apologize from the start. I'm going to try and pronounce the names of these lipsticks. More than likely, I will butcher them, but that is why I'm letting you know right away. So don't come for me if I get the names wrong. So the first one is Rouge Volupte Shine. The second is Tatouage Couture. And the third is Rouge Pure Couture. If I butchered it, well, we'll figure that out later. Anyway, so there are three pieces. We have two lipsticks and one liquid lip, and this is the mini lip wardrobe set. If I can get this one out. Okay, so the first one here is Rouge Pure Couture, number 70. Beautiful, sleek gold packaging with the signature YSL logo. Take that off and it's a neutral nude color. Wow, this is kind of, this is like a silky finish. I like that. All right. Ah. Okay. It has a it has a subtle smell. Ah. This feels so satiny on the lips. It feels luxurious. Um and it goes on so smoothly and so nicely. It takes very little effort to get it on. I like the feeling from it. I love the subtle scent of like roses. It's It smells so good. And it just applied so seamlessly. It's silky and smooth and creamy. And the color is, you know, pretty neutral, pretty nude, which I think is great, especially as a way to try the YSL lipsticks. You want to start off with something neutral. So this was like a safe route to go, which I totally agree with. I, I definitely love this color. This one is a winner. So next up we have number 23, which is Tatouage Couture. And this is a liquid lip. All 
All right, let's do the hand swatch real quick. Oh, that smells good too. It's like a beautiful perfume scent. This one is swatching a little bit more brown, but this one has, it seems like it has a bit more rosy undertones in there. Tatouage couture. Sounds expensive, doesn't it? There is no other way I could afford a set of YSL lipsticks. So when I saw these, I was like, this is my chance. This, this might be my only chance. So I took advantage of it right away. Okay. This one looks like it might need a few layers. I think the doe foot applicator is a little stiff. Or maybe it's just because it's so tiny that I'm struggling to kind of put it on. It smells good though. Do you think it looks similar to the first one? I think they all have that neutral look, which is fine. This one is not, um, this one needs a little bit more layers, like one or two more layers to uh, make it pop. But the color is great. So this color, one layer like this, actually I think I dipped it twice. But this is fine by itself, but for me, I would like to see at least one more layer. Um, I can still see my actual lip through it, and I want my entire lips to be covered on my top lip. Maybe it's because my top lip is darker than my bottom lip. So it's harder to cover that area, it could be that. But the color is great. This smells really good. It's lightweight. Um, it doesn't feel like it's gonna move anywhere or slip or get on my teeth. The color is gorgeous. It's a more rosy tone or undertone than the first one. I like it. Let's see if it's gonna transfer. I know the first one would because that was a more satiny, creamy finish. So that would more than likely transfer. So let's do a transfer test. Well, it's there a little bit, and it could be because it's not fully dry, but I can tell that it's a matte lip. And it's not fully dry yet, so it's not that instant dry finish. It's gonna take a little time, because um, as you can see, it did come off just a little bit, which is fine. But it feels like it's gonna dry down all the way. You just need to give it a little bit more time. But overall, I think this one is a great color as well and I like it. What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up if you do. Okay, lastly, but not leastly, we have this is number 44, Rouge Volupte Shine. So I'm assuming it's a shinier finish or no? This looks matte to me. All right, so there we go again with that same color. Oh yeah, it is a shiny finish. It's creamier. I think the first one was more satin finish. This one is definitely creamier and it's a little more sheer, if you can tell. All right. Yeah, it's definitely sheer. 
I am slightly getting like a lip balm vibe from this one. Oh, that smells good. It smells like a Jolly Rancher. This one feels like a mix between a lip balm and a lipstick. So it's like almost a lipstick. That's the feeling that I get from it. Super creamy, soft, it smells good. The undertone or the sheerness of it also gives it that lip balm feeling. Because as you can tell, it, it's not as pigmented as the first two. So that's why I'm getting that lip balm feeling from it, which is not bad, but um, what do you guys think of this? Is it worth the 40 bucks? I think it's like either 38, between 38 and $40 for this set. But mm, I guess I would have expected a little bit more from this one. I wish it was more pigmented rather than put something that's like almost a lipstick in there. That's just my opinion and how I feel about the set. But it smells good and it feels good. And maybe sometimes we just want something that looks like a lipstick and feels like a lip balm. I'm always down for that. And that's the feeling that I get from this one. What do you guys think about this? Are you liking this shade or this one would be a pass for you? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so here are my thoughts on the set. First of all, I like that I can even afford something from Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, I think it's $38 for the set. And um, I was pretty stoked when I saw this online and I purchased it because there is no way I can afford something from YSL. Um, and you guys know that they are, it's a luxury brand, so you have to expect that that price point will be there. Um, so I jumped on the opportunity to get this. Yeah, so they're travel sizes, which makes them great. I always love travel sizes, mini sizes, easy to pack and carry around. If I had to critique anything about this is that I wish there was more variety in the shades. Um, but I believe it consists of some of their most iconic shades, if I'm not mistaken, their, more, their most popular shades. Um, so I guess that's why they curated this set. But other than that, if there was more variety in the colors, it would have been perfect. Like if they had a red in there or something other than three neutrals. But three neutral colors is still pretty clever because that makes it even better for gifting. I find that it would be easy to complement other skin tones because of its neutral um, nude undertones. So it would make a great gift. So I see the point in that. The formulas are pretty excellent. They're creamy, they're satiny, they smell good. You can feel the luxury on your lips. So I definitely understand that part and I would pay for great formula. I would definitely spend an extra coin for great formula and something that's lasting, something that doesn't dry out my lips. And this totally feels good on my lips right now. And this particular one is not transfer free. It feels, like I said, it feels more like a lip balm. The liquid lip, this has more of a matte finish, but it does take a little bit more time to dry. And this one is more of a satiny finish to me, which is also super comfortable. So all in all, I think this would make an excellent gift. And it's a great way to get introduced to the YSL brand without breaking the bank. So give it a try and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you like this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Make sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell because there is no other way that you will find out whenever I post a video. And if you don't want to miss out, then just go ahead and bing click that bell but i want to thank you guys so much for watching 
and I will catch you in my next lipstick swatch video. Bye!